And of course, you woke up at what, 8 this morning? Right. And then you, you cleaned up your apartment really nicely so you could show us what it looks like? Yeah, I want you to come over if you feel like it. It's, it I haven't done any dusting or vacuuming or anything. I do that on Sundays. But uh -huh. uh, as I was talking with Jeff and trying to get a feel for why he was killing people, um, some of the things that he brought up was, the first point was that all of the other people who we tried to have a close personal relationship with would eventually leave, and he didn't want them to leave. So by killing them, he ensured that they were no longer going to go anywhere. Because I used to staff for the other part was that ever since he was a small child, when he found out that he was gay, what is this was a part of his life that he knew was not acceptable to his mom or dad. He knew was not acceptable to his school or his religion, so he kept it very secret. And in a way, Jeff felt that his secret life, his gay life, gave him power in a way that it was something that nobody else that knew him knew about. It was his own little world that he had a certain amount of control over, and he enjoyed that. Do you know who the other person is there, that beautiful blonde sitting on the couch, yawning? That's right. And who is this? That's Cousin Jeff. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a bunch of satisfied people sitting around here. Yes.